so the diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at right angles to solve this theorem so we need to take one rhombus we have to prove when two diagonals intersect each other that in the place they form a right angles so let me show you the diagram so let's take one rhombus yes so all the sides are equal in rhombus and opposite sides are parallel in this diagonals of rhombus bisect each other i need to prove so if you take the letters a b c d are the four vertices and diagonals is ac and bd so draw the diagonal so a to c is one diagonal and b to d is another diagonal they intersect at the point o so according to this theorem we need to prove oa is equals to oc and ob is equals to od at the same time angle of aob so this angle and angle of cob any two angles two adjacent angles inside we need to prove 90 degrees so your first given the information is abcd is a rhombus okay abcd is rhombus and ac bd are diagonals these two are the diagonals right and uh, we need to prove here to prove so what we require to prove diagonals bisect each other at right angles so i have to prove that oa is equals to oc and ob is equals to od and again the angles that is angle a o b is equals to angle c o b that is equals to 90 degrees okay the both angles equal to 90 we have to prove then let's start the theorem so when you take the proof so i have to take two triangles in this so a o b and o c b these two triangles if i prove congruent these two triangles are congruent then we can say that oa is equals to oc so i have to take in triangle aob so any type of this uh, theorem so you need to take the concept, uh, particular triangles so which triangle if you take the diagonal they are bisect each other you can prove that triangle should take so aob and boc from these two triangles one of the axioms we need to prove so here alternate angles are there like o a b this angle and o c d these two angles are same so o a b and o c d so we'll take o c d the opposite to triangles not b o c so triangle ocd now angle a this is boa and ocd is equal because ab is parallel to cd and ac is a transversal so alternate angles so from triangle aob and cod the triangle a means that is bao bao angle is equals to ocd these two angles are equal you can see right so this is a uh, one angle and these two angles these two are equal because of uh, alternate angles so alternate angles yes. again oba this part and this corner so you can change the color you can see here this angle and this these two are equal because uh, bd is transversal and other two are parallel angles like ad bc is parallel and bd is transversal so these two angles are equal so that we can denote as uh, oba oba is equals to odc 
this also same alternate angles and AB is equal to CD because of opposite sides AB is equal to CD are equal so sides are from us because sides of rhombus are equal yes two angles and one side then according to two angles one side means a s c axiom therefore triangle a these two triangles o a b o a b here we have taken a o b or o a b ok anything is same triangle so this triangle and this opposite triangle these two are congruent now so a o b at the same time triangle o c d yeah. these two are e uh, congruent because of a s c axiom two angles and one side once two triangles are congruent then corresponding sides are equal then you can say O A is equals to O C and similarly O B is equals to O D also that is a C P C T okay corresponding parts of a congruent triangle rule once these two triangles are equal then we can this is a the bisect each other now bisected right angles also we need to prove so this is simple similarly O A B and O C B. So two adjacent triangles we need to prove congruent. So in this this triangle and this side. So A O B and C O B. These two triangles if I prove congruent then these two angles must be equal because of straight line they are 180 each angle is 90 degrees. So simple. So this and these two triangles. So I am writing here triangle A O B and triangle B O C these two triangles are congruent because A B is equals to B C and at the same time two angles so that two triangles I need to prove congruent second right steps here you can see from diagram that is again in triangles OAB and OCB. So I can take the yes, this is again I taken to show clearly that is A B C D. So if AC is the diagonal and B is another diagonal, this is center. These two triangles I need to prove compact that is OA is equals to it is already proved OA is equals to OC that is side and AB is equals to CB so that is the side of the rhombus again OB is equals to OB because it is a common side so this is the already proved this is sides of the rhombus and the common side then you can say these two triangles so triangle a O B is congruent to triangle C O B. Once these two triangles are congruent, then these two triangles are equal. These two angles are equal. That is A O B. So A O B is equals to B O C. But we know that A O B plus B O C is equal to 180 degrees because of the straight line. So angle of the straight line is 180 degrees. So this is completely 180. Now individually is same. So indirectly each and every angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle A O B is equal to angle C O B that is equal to 90 degrees. Because both angles sum is 180, every angle is same means each angle is 180 divided by 2. So half of the one eight is ninety degrees. Fine. So in this way you can prove this is uh, to prove a uh, right angle, the intersected right angle, and this to bisect each other. So you can prove this in this way. And I'll show some uh, one more theorem as well as some problems. 
which one is coordinator's topic.